टेंथ फेब्रुअरी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री मॉर्निंग मुरली अम शांति बापता मधुपन स्वीट चिल्ड्रन द फादर केव्स यू द नॉलेज ऑफ वॉट इज लिमिटेड एंड वॉट इज अनलिमिटेड एंड देन टेक्स यू बी ऑन दैट टू योर होम द गोल्डन एंड सिल्वर एजेस आर लिमिटेड एंड द कॉपर एंड आयरन एजेस आर अनलिमिटेड क्वेश्चन who can remain firm and the knowledge that they have received from the father answer those who remain completely pure answer those who remain completely pure if you don't remain pure you are unable to imbibe knowledge all of this knowledge can only be imbibed by a pure golden age intellect only such children are able to become master knowledgeful the same as father question by making effort what stage will you children reach answer all the wrong thoughts that you have been having will end your intellect yoga will be connected to the one father your intellect will become golden vessels and you will continue to embed all the jewels that the father gives Om Shanti the spiritual father sits here and explains to you the sweetest spiritual children every day it has been explained to you children that this world cycle passes through the phases of knowledge devotion and this interest you have to go beyond the limited and the unlimited it is said beyond the limited and the unlimited therefore keep the knowledge of having to go beyond the limited and the unlimited in your intellect it is also said of the father beyond the limited and the unlimited the meaning of this too has to be understood the spiritual father explains to your spiritual children the topic there is knowledge devotion and then this interest you know that knowledge is the day when it is the new world there is no devotion there that is a limited world because there are very few human beings there then gradually it expands devotion begins after half a cycle when there is knowledge that is when it is the day there is no sanyas religion there is no this interest there is no sanyas or renunciation there all of these things have to remain in your intellect the world continues to expand gradually the number of living beings also grows souls continue to come from the supreme abode it begins with the limited and it is now unlimited so the father is beyond the limited and the unlimited there are very few children in the limited world and then the world continues to expand you now have to go beyond even thus thus is called the unlimited at first there was a limited number of souls they played their parts in the golden and silver ages there is a vast difference between the 900000 and the billions of human beings who just go and the unlimited people try to find out how high the sky is and how deep the ocean is but they cannot reach the end of those they try so hard to go up above they have to have sufficient fuel so that they can also come back they cannot go and the unlimited they can only remain within their limits the father explains to you the secrets of going beyond what is limited and what is unlimited at first in the new world it is limited there are very few people at that time you should have the knowledge of the beginning the middle and the end of creation no one has this knowledge they don't even know the father it is only the father who is beyond what is limited and unlimited who explains all of those secrets to you therefore the father sits here and tells you the secrets of the beginning the middle and the end of creation the father says children 
go beyond even this. There, there is nothing. Here there is just the sky and water everywhere. Where there is no land, that is called beyond the limited and the unlimited. No one can reach the end of that. They say infinite, infinite, but no one knows the meaning of that. Only the Father gives you the full understanding because he is elevated, that is, he is very sensible. It is only by understanding all of these things that you can become very sensible beats of the rosary. No human being can understand the secrets of the Creator or the beginning, the middle and the end of creation. Only the Father explains this. He says, I am seeing the limited and I go into the unlimited. There are so many religions. This is how establishment takes place. The Golden Age is a limited world and the Iron Age is an unlimited world. Then beyond the limited and the unlimited is our land of peace, our sweet home. The Golden Age is also a sweet home. There is peace and also the fortune of the kingdom there. There, there are both happiness and peace. When you go home, there is just peace there. There is no mention of happiness there. You are now establishing both peace and happiness. There is no mention of peacelessness there. There is peacelessness because of the five vices. No one in the world knows this. After half a cycle, there is the kingdom of Ravan. Those people say that the duration of each cycle is hundreds of thousands of years. They don't understand anything and this is why they are corrupt, unhappy and impure. They don't have any manners at all. They used to have divine manners but they now have no manners but devilish traits instead. This is an unlimited drama. It is said that you are now going beyond the limited and the unlimited, very very far away. People don't know anything about this play or who the greatest of all is. God is the highest on high. This is why it is said only you know your ways and means. Your children now understand everything. However, you are also number wise. The father sits here and explains how far his intellect goes. It goes beyond the limited and the unlimited. There is nothing there. That is the resident of your children, means Brahman, the great element of Brahma. You are sitting here in the element of sky and you cannot see anything of it. There is nothing but space. They say that the radio is sound from the ether means sky. The sky is a big element and no one can reach its end. What would people understand about the sound from the sky? Sound comes from someone's mouth. Means space in the mouth. This is called sound from the ether. Sound comes from a mouth. Sound doesn't come from a nose or ears. The father sits in this body and explains to your children through this mouth. Only your children know what the father is. Just as we are souls, so Baba is the highest on high soul. Everyone has received a number wise part. The father is the highest on high and then as you come down, all enter the play number wise. In the new world, there are first of all Lakshmi and Narayan and then there are those who are with them in the new world. Look at the rosary. At the top is the tassel, means flower, God, the highest on high and then there is the dual bead. Then see how the rosary grows. All of this is in the study. You have this whole study in your intellects, the seed and the tree. The seed is up above. The father, the creator, had sat and explained to you the secrets of the beginning, the middle and the end of creation. This is the culprit tree of the world. Its age is accurate. 
there can be no difference of even a second in it you have received so much knowledge only those who became pure are able to remain strong and thus otherwise they are unable to imbibe knowledge if you have a pure vessel a golden age intellect you will be able to imbibe knowledge easily just as baba has you will become master knowledgeful number wise no one apart from the father can explain that secret you will neither be able to hear it from the mouths of deities nor from impure human beings only the father tells you and also only now at the confluence age do you listen to it only once does the father becomes the father teacher and sadguru he is playing his part now and he will then play his part again after 5000 years and hallination doesn't take place so first is the father the highest on high shift and then the highest on high dual beat the emperor and empress who will then became adi dev and adi devi at the end you have all the knowledge in your intellects but it is number wise according to the efforts you make anyone you relate this knowledge to will be amazed no one apart from the knowledgeful father can give this knowledge it is very easy for you children to embed this it is not difficult but the main thing is the pilgrimage of remembrance this jewels will be able to stay in a golden vessel these are the highest on high jewels baba was a jeweler of jewels too when he acquired very beautiful jewels he would place them on cotton wool in a silver box he would then open the box and show them at something first class good things only look nice in good containers those ears of yours are vessels and you listen with them because you are imbibing this they have to be golden means pure that is your intellects have to be completely connected in yoga to the father if your intellects yoga isn't right nothing will be written by your intellect you mustn't even have wrong thoughts all storms have to stop by making effort you will reach that stage by removing your intellects from everywhere else and continuously connecting them to me your vessels will become golden content to donate to others bharat is a great donor people donate a lot of wealth etc in bharat these donations are of the imperishable jewels of knowledge which the father gives to you children renounce your bodies and all body relations and connect your intellects to the one we belong to the father that's all baba tells you your aim and objective it is the duty of your children to make effort only then will you be able to claim a high status you mustn't have wrong thoughts the father is the ocean of knowledge he explains to you all the secrets beyond what is limited and unlimited i go beyond the limited and the unlimited you too are beyond the limited and the unlimited when you don't have any thoughts etc you will then also go beyond while living at home with your families you have to become like a lotus flower let your hands do the work and your hearts be in remembrance of baba while moving along some children break away and they feel you will come to know everything maya also solon very good maharatis they are no longer here today the left the father and took aslam with maya the student goes ahead and the teacher becomes caught by maya it is like traitors who go and seek refuge with others they go to the side that they see is powerful you know that it is the one father who has a lot of strength he is the almighty authority he is giving us elevated teachings and making us into the masters of the world 
There, there is nothing lacking for which you would have to make effort. There is nothing there that you don't have. That too is number wise according to the efforts you make. No one apart from the unlimited father knows these things. You were what to worship and you then became worshippers. You are now making effort to become worthy of worship once again. The more you stay in remembrance of Baba, the sooner the storms of Maya will come to an end. They show a toy of Hatam Thai, means a bear in the mouth. When the bear is put in the mouth, Maya runs away. As soon as you remove the bear from the mouth, Maya comes. The father explains, children, Consider yourselves to be souls, brothers. If there are no bodies, where would your vision go? You have to make this much effort. You continue to make effort every cycle. You make your fortune by making effort. The father tells you children the main thing. Consider yourselves to be souls and remember me, your father. Only you can know those things. Although the speak of God, the Father, and of us being brothers. They don't actually believe it. The sin, the bestower of salvation for all is one wrong. Only the one Father gives everyone happiness. Ram would not be called Baba. When Baba is a bodily being, and the other one is the one who is bodiless. At first, you are bodiless, and you then become bodily beings. First, we stay with Baba and then we go to our physical, bodily fathers to play our parts. All of these matters are spiritual. You have to forget that worldly, physical education. You have the whole cycle in your endless. It is now the confluence age. We now have to go to the new world. The old world has to end. In order to go to the new world, you now definitely have to imbibe divine virtues. You have to become pure. You also definitely have to remember the Father and you have to remember Him fully so that all your sins are cut away. The Father says, Remember me and you will become pure. This is called the fire of yoga. You have to follow Baba Srimad. The rest of the world is following the dictates of Ravan. Those directions are best on the vices. Those directions are best on being viceless. There are the five vices. First of all, there is arrogance of your body, then lust, anger. People put arrogance as the last one. In fact, arrogance should be first. All the other vices come afterwards. The father explains to your children, he has explained to you many times, cycle after cycle, he explains to you every 5000 years. Your intellects understand that Baba is making you into thirst, that is, he is giving you the knowledge of the creator and creation. This is why he is called the creator. In fact, creation is eternal, but the one who is explaining is the only one who has all the knowledge. The drama is eternally predestined. No one creates it. It is easy to shoot a limited drama when film. This is a big unlimited drama. This is an eternal predestined drama that has been shot. There cannot be the slightest difference. The endless drama. The cycle of this unlimited drama continues to turn. We became Satapradhan from Tamapradhan and then Tamapradhan from Satapradhan. The main thing is still purity. There is so much happiness in the pure world, whereas there is so much sorrow in the impure world. Only your intellects know the secrets of their being the land of happiness for half a cycle and the land of sorrow for half a cycle. No one else knows this. Acha. To the sweetest, beloved, long lost, and now found children, love, remembrance, and good morning from the mother, the father, Babdada, the spiritual father says, Namaste to the spiritual children, 
the spiritual children says namaste and good morning to the spiritual father essence for the dharna first point in order to become free from wrong thoughts connect your intellect in yoga to the home beyond the limited and the unlimited in order to gain body conscious vision practice firmly we souls are brothers second point donate the imperishable jewels of knowledge in order to make your intellect golden means pure remove it from everywhere else and connect it to the one father blessing may you hand yourself over to the father and become double light by surrendering yourselves with your intellect explanation give your responsibilities to the father and hand yourselves over to the father that is give all your burdens to the father and you will then become double light surrender yourselves with your intellect and nothing else will come into your intellect simply everything belongs to the father everything is in the father nothing else remains since nothing else remains where would your intellect go simply to one father the one path of remembrance then by following this path you will easily reach your destination slogan only those who sit on the throne of stability and play their parts as the touch observers are elevated actors om shanti